You can be a married single parent. Married single parents absolutely exist in today's society, y'all. And if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a diagnosed narcissist. And I, no, I talk about narcissistic personality disorder. I help people get into therapy and I also break down toxic relationship dynamics, y'all. So not everybody is going to be a narcissist. We know that not, not everybody is a narcissist. You know what I mean? We, uh, we absolutely understand that. We know that we, we get that. But married single parents exist. But what I mean by married single parents is like you as the parent can I say married single parents. I don't just say married single moms. I say married single parents because some people, some mothers, mothers are literally disconnected from their kids and their family as well. You can be married to someone, but you can also be a single parent where all the emotional labor, all the physical labor for the children and things of that nature fall onto you. Or that your, your partner in your relationship is completely disconnected from you and from the children. Like typ typically, this is the typical dynamic where you see that in y'all, especially in today's society. I'm not saying this is, the, this is the only dynamic, but typically this is the dynamic that's talked about most is when the, I guess the, the, the male masculine figure in the house, whatever, the, the breadwinner, let's just say breadwinner, the breadwinner pays all the bills and that's all they do. That's literally all they do. The breadwinner pays all the bills and that's literally all they do. As long as the bills are paid, I don't have to do anything else in this household. As long as these bills are paid, as long as there's a roof over our heads, I'm good. My job is done. Even though my job might be only from eight to three or from nine to five, everything else is cool. And, it, and you know, everything else is on you. The emotional labor, whatever. And this is not always with the breadwinner situation. Sometimes, they, sometimes, Y'all will go 50-50 on everything, but st they'll still be disconnected from the kids and still be disconnected from their spouse. Y'all will both go equal on the bills, but there's not equal on the emotional labor, the labor around the house, the domestic labor, the, ch the labor with the children. If there's no equality there. It's just y'all are equal on the bills. And typically, the, the, gender roles play, the gender roles play a role in this. Typically, you get a disconnected-ass, narcissistic, toxic-ass man that just pay, maybe pays his half the bill, pays all the bills, and just does nothing else because men are not supposed to do that. That's a woman's job. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I have, I've had old, I had old friends in my life do the same type of stuff. That they, they, they wouldn't even, some of them would, don't even pay, wouldn't even paying bills. They would just wouldn't do any kind of emotional labor, no kind of labor with the kids, no nut, like literally just living there, just existing. Didn't change no diapers, didn't, didn't, didn't wash the kids. Literally, just was, was existing. And this happens a lot, y'all. And this dynamic and this role in society, it, society plays a big role into this as, as well. But a lot of times, toxic narcissistic people play a role in it too. The toxic narcissistic person is there and not taking care of the kids at all, not taking care of the spouse at all. <clears throat> they are just driven from selfish intent. They are dri driven from selfish, from you know, just from the selfishness of the situation. They are just driven to continue to go forward and to serve themselves. They want to make themselves happy. They are they are there to serve themselves. You see what I'm saying? That's their goal is to serve themselves. And it, they're trying to make themselves happy. And whoever gets hurt in the situation is collateral damage. So you can absolutely, I know people are just like, you got to get married in today's society or you're going to be raising them kids by yourself, single motherhood, single fatherhood, blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. You hear that so much. But when you get, a lot of people think that when you get married, it's going to be this, this, this hokey, hokey dokey, hokey pokey, just dynamic where pe both people are just equal, equal combatants in this relationship. No, it's not like that a lot of times, y'all. A lot of times you end up, if you, especially if you marry a toxic ass man or a toxic ass Toxic man, woman, non-binary person, whoever you are, toxic person. We just, once you marry a toxic person, narcissistic person, you see how that goes right there. They disconnect from you. They might have made promises to be a better, to be a good husband, a good wife, or whatever. They might have made those promises to be a good, to be a good spouse and a good, good parent or whatever. But as soon as y'all get married and start having these kids, they completely disconnect. So it's like y'all, you have a roommate that lives upstairs while you're downstairs doing everything in the house. Like I said, to, to a lot of times the, the gender roles do play a the gender the genders do play a, a dynamic in this because, like I said, you see that the man goes to work, the man goes to work, takes care of the household, blah blah blah, and then every single thing falls onto the falls onto the mom. You see, you see this happen a lot. I'm not saying this is the only way it happens, but you see this happen a lot. Well, you hear it, you hear it talking about a lot, you know. 
Because I know a lot of men who go through this don't speak up about it because they might get chastised and you know they might get chastised and embarrassed or whatever because society says you need to pick up the slack. You're a man. Stop crying. Stop whining. Stop bitching and moaning. Stop whining about stuff and just man up. Just man up and go over there and do it yourself. You know. But typically the dynamic goes like. And this is why I say, this is my perspective on it right here, y'all, because I see the, the whole 50-50, 50%, 50% 50, 50 on the bills mean you got to do 50-50. No, just, I'm just saying, some, a lot of times a narcissistic man or whatever will be just completely disconnected from the family. And they like they might work nine to five, but the, the, the domestic labor, the kids are not a nine to five job. You know what I mean? I see this in comment sections on TikToks and YouTubes and Instagrams so much, so damn much. It was like, well, they pay all the bills, so you got you got to take care of the household. They pay all the bills from a nine to five job, perhaps a nine to you know a nine to five career, perhaps. That's nine to five. They get off at five. The house, the the stuff at the house doesn't end. That stuff starts at seven and ends at midnight sometimes. Where's the break for your partner at? You see what I'm saying? Where's the break from your partner? At? You ask your partner to help. Hey, can you help with the kids a little bit? I just get off of work. What you me do? You see that happen a lot, y'all. And that's why I tell y'all, married single parent. Let's, that's why I think this is my perspective on it. Right? I feel like a lot of women they get into these married single parent dynamics. That's why they would rather be by them damn selves. Like because not only do they have to take care of the household and the kids and sometimes half the bills, they have to take care of the other parent. They have to take care of the other person as well. They got to, not only do you have two, three kids in the household that you have to take care of, you got your spouse coming home that you have to take care of as well. So it's another, you got another big ass kid that throws their shoes, takes their underwear off and throws them in the kitchen. Whatever, 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 throw the underwear in the kitchen. Um, Whatever the dynamic is in this situation, that's how it goes right there. You know what I'm saying? But I, I see a lot of people to get caught up in these situations, to get, get caught up in these dynamics. And you're like, what in the world am I doing? What in the world do I have going on? So I would rather, a lot of people, see, if you are a mar married single parent, you'd rather just be a damn single, single parent. Because now, at least I don't have to take care of my spouse anymore. At least I don't, at least I don't have to take care of my ex-partner anymore. So that's, so this for me, that's why you see a lot of women filing for divorce. Like if they're not getting their emotional needs met, because I know people are just like, you got to provide and protect. I get that dynamic. But providing is not just a financial, physical thing. It's an emotional thing as well. You have to provide your emotions as well. You can't go to work, come home and shut the hell down. I have done, I did that for years. I did that for years. My wife is not a married single parent because I do, I do take care of my kids. We're going to get into that one. You know what I mean? But you see that dynamic, the way it goes. Me and my wife get into <laughs> me and my wife get into arguments sometimes because I try to help. I try to help with the kids too much. She like, no, 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 I got it, I got it. I'm like she's like, you've been you've been doing you've been in the office all day. I was like, no, like I get it. I understand that you need help too. Like my my time ends at a certain time. Yours doesn't. Let me get a break. You know, what I mean? like this this literally last night. This is Sunday, January 29th. She just went out with her friends yesterday. I had all the kids. I had all three of the kids. I just like, I got this. Just go. You you don't have to do everything. Like I said, that's what that's what helped. I protect like she's a stay at home mom, so I do the providing and protecting. But I also try to provide emotional help and give her breaks as well because that's what's needed, y'all. That's how you make it. That's how you get cultivate a healthy, healthier marriage. And I have narcissistic personality disorder, and I know how to do that. But there's so many people that are disconnected. They read into this, especially a lot of this red pill ideology. You provide and protect. Providing and protecting means also providing your emotion, providing an emotional safe space, not just a protected home with guns and, and alarms on the windows and bars on the windows and a ring doorbell. That means also providing some affection and some love and some caring and some nurturing for your wife, husband, and children as well. You see this? You see what I'm saying? That's the dynamic I get. So I understand why some people, I would rather be, uh, you. if you're a married single parent, you're doing it by yourself anyway, emotionally, and you got you got to do all the domestic labor, and sometimes you also have to pay some of the bills. You have to pay half the bills too. What the hell? And you have to take care of your partner, your spouse. Time for me to go. And sometimes men file for divorce in that situation too. And like I said, I'm not trying to dog on men. I'm just saying the most the most the most common topic you hear about this is when it happens when a man is doing it. You see what I'm saying? When a man is doing the emotional disconnection or whatever, paying the bills, and you hear about that a lot. You hear about that a lot. I'm not saying this only happens to a, when a man does it to a woman. I'm just saying you hear about it more when a man does it to a woman. I'm not, because I talk to men all the time that go through this as well. They're like, look, I gotta do this. My wife is just, she's just so super disconnected. I just don't know what else to do. 
I talk to those type of people as well. I do my one-on-one, -on -one, my Zoom coaching and stuff like that. I talk to the men as well. I talk to a lot of men. It's crazy. You know, men struggle with mental health too. Men struggle with narcissistic, toxic ass women too. Oh boy, I'm just telling you. So many toxic women be in. So many toxic women be insidious, boy. I'm just telling you. But married single parents do exist, and they're getting frustrated. So among. Um, they would rather be a married, they would rather be a single, single parent getting child support or alimony than to be a married single parent and having to take care of you as well. And maybe getting financially abused because you're controlling all the money and all the, you controlling all the money. They got to ask for money like a child or whatever. They got to ask for resources like a kid or something like that. So might as well get divorced and go do it by myself so in the courts will take it from you. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of more people, a lot more people need to step up and be more emotionally connected and be more emotionally available to their partner as opposed to just being so super disconnected thinking that your job ends at 3, 4, 5 p.m. and your partner's job is all throughout the damn night. They got to get up with the kids too and they also might be working as well. Y'all, where we at? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Where we at? I don't, like I said, married, because this is, this is taking me a while to get to this point too, y'all, because I'm 37 years old. I've always been super active in my kids' lives. This is not me. Like I said, this is, but I have people in my circle, or friends that I once knew that do this. Like literally two, three kids in the household, never changed a diaper, never made, ne ne never made a dinner, never cleaned up, threw their nasty, dirty ass underwear in the floor. Just, just filthy people. And that's how they end up, you know, they end up divorced. You end up broken up. The family ends up being fractured, and they blame the other person. Like you didn't, you didn't want to stay by me. Blah, blah, blah. But married single parents are getting frustrated, y'all. It's a frustrating dynamic. It's a frustrating position to put people in. They feel like they have to take care of literally every single thing. You know, there's no equality there. There's no. You know, what, what, what are we getting here? What are we getting? What are they getting out of this relationship dynamic? You see what I'm saying? What are they getting from you? What are they getting from this? What are they getting from this relationship that, that is actually meant to serve them and help them out? You see? Again, I'm not ragging on men. I'm just saying this is the most top, most talked about type of stuff is that the gender roles say that marry, say that men are supposed to provide and protect, and that's it. Provide and protect. And people think provision, like I said, <laughs> is just financial and just shelter. What about the emotions? Men don't not get emotional. Emotional men are beta males. Bury your emotions deep. I seen Candace Owens say some weird, some, some, some Candace Owens said some wild shit the other day. She said, I miss people like my grandpa. My grandpa was a stout, I think she said something like this. My grandpa was a stout black man. He buried his emotions deep. No matter how much pain he went through, he did not show an ounce of emotion. That's a real man. What? <laughs> I was like, yikes. But anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this series. This is just relationship advice you did not ask for from a diagnosed narcissist. I am Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. I had just released my self love journal on Amazon. A self love journal. Look, I love me. A self love journal by Mr. Lee Hammock himself. Thank y'all. Search Lee Hammock self love on Amazon. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.